Hey crafters, it's Janet with Crafting It Up in Creations coming at you today with a really fun DIY um, inspired by the, all the farmhouse and primitive decor that I keep seeing on YouTube. And I'm just eating it all up. Now this is something that has been around for a little while, I believe, but this is a little bit different take on it that I have to kind of have one that kind of looks like a grunge look. Now I have seen them done with chalk paint and I will show you one that I've done with chalk paint, um, but you'll have to go to my Facebook page to see that one. This is Rust-Oleum Multicolored Textured Paint. And this color is actually in Autumn Brown. It is one of my all time favorite spray paints. So if you wanna take anything to the next level, um, Dollar Tree wise or Target Dollar Spot, this really adds something to it. This other color is a Desert Bisque. It's really pretty too. I'm gonna have samples of it as well, um, but it'll probably be on my Facebook page. I'm kind of in a rush to make a bunch of these for Teacher Appreciation Week. But this is an example of one of the Target Dollar Spot jars that I used it on. And I used a reverse stencil and just spray painted the jar and then pulled um, the heart off so that there's like a peekaboo place in it. And this is one from the Dollar Tree that I also used um, that has the little tea light that goes down in there. And these are wonderful little jars. I just love them. When they came out with them a couple years back, um, I grabbed a bunch up and I like to uh, upscale my, my Dollar Tree items. Now this is a regular um, ball mason jar and I've already went ahead and sprayed it down with that textured paint. This is kind of reminiscing of the grunge look. Um, several years ago I would watch people do um, crafts and they would make grunge things using old coffee grounds um, they would add cinnamon, nutmeg, all kinds of different spices in together and use Mod Podge, roll their candles in it or, you know, whatever they were decorating and then reseal it with the Mod Podge and it looked so good. But it was really messy. Um, I even had some old coffee grounds that I kept for quite some time because I liked doing that grunge look. Now also, I will use this flat crystal clear um, it's a Krylon sealer, and it's just to make sure that if, um, especially on your chalk paint, that if something happens, it won't just scratch off the jar. They also have this chalked matte clear as well, which is a protective top coat for your um, finished product. And this is a ball mason jar. I did get the smooth jar. Um, there's no hardly any writing on it. There is the word ball that's just barely raised. And they do have some that don't have that on it at all. I think it would be fun to even use one that has a mason jar on it, but I already had these on hand and this made such a really unique, fun teacher's gift. And I thought that, eh, let's go for it. Now I'm showing some of the different chalk paints um, that I have. I've got all kinds of colors in these. They sell them at Walmart. You can buy them at, of course, any of the craft stores now. Um, this Art Minds um, Smoky Pearl is my very favorite color. It came from Michaels, um, but the other ones came from uh, Walmart. They're like $1.46 for the smaller um, containers and maybe like 3 or $4 for the larger ones, and they go a really long way. And chalk paint is so much fun because it really doesn't even require prep work. But of course, with your um, jars, I would definitely suggest cleaning them um, off, even with just an alcohol rub down. Now, I've got several little burlap flowers. All of these I bought, they're Recollections brand um, from Michaels, and I got them on sale, so that helps. Um, because they are kind of expensive for a pack. Some of these range from $3.99 to $5.99 a pack. Um, these little bunch of flowers were six or seven ninety nine, I want to say, and I used the coupons for those. And I love these; um, they're like a paper flower. So I was kind of hesitant on um, giving it to the teachers, just because 
a lot of kids may pull tissues out of there and hit it and bump it and knock it around. So I thought the burlap flowers would actually be a little bit better choice. Now this jute cord is some that I bought from Walmart. It was like $1.97 for a half a pound of cord and I'm just now getting ready to finish this up. I've used this on several projects so I love it. Dollar Tree has some as well and I'm a huge fan of the Dollar Tree so you can get it there too. This is um, the word bless you is what I wanted to add to my tissue holder. And I do not recommend this font at all. <laughs> it was one of them that I bought from the Silhouette store, but it was so fine. I had the most difficult time applying that to that painted surface. So I end up going with a different font and I love it too. But this is the mason jar. I'm going to pull out that inside. I'm going to clean it. And I'm going to show you even this piece that comes out of the tissues. Now the um, tissues that I bought, they're Kleenex, and it's a circular container. And I thought, when I saw it, I thought the um, container just dropped down into the mason jar, but it totally does not. Um, but the container itself is really nice. I think even when I'm used up all these tissues that I'm going to go back and decorate those things because they are super neat looking and they're very sturdy. But, of course, you have to take that plastic piece off in order to put that piece into the lid. And that's doable. So I knew that I'm kind of rough on things. And I knew that I wanted something else to go in this because I figured that I would end up ripping that or pulling it apart. And so I got to thinking, what could I make? So I went through all my dies. I have tons of them. And found some circle dies that kind of um, fit the opening of this jar lid and I'm gonna use my vintage um, big kick um, I had the big shot several years ago and I finally just broke the crank on it one day and I got a newer one and I just got this one because of the colors the big kick and the big shot are exactly the same now this is a my favorite things uh, die set and it's stitch circles and I love it it's the stitch circle stack actually and then this is a Nina 100 pound uh, smooth cardstock. It's Desert Storm is the color. And to me, it even looks like um, chipboard itself because it just has that look to it. So I'm just kind of showing you what that looks like, but I'm gonna actually cut a strip of it and then put the die on there and then run it through the big kick to cut it out. And I'm gonna actually make two of those. I need two for each piece um, in hopes of making it sturdy and even, you know, to set well within the mason jar lid. And then in the center of this circle, I'm gonna cut out another circle, of course. And that's where I'm gonna be able to pop my tissues through it. And I was so thrilled to think, gosh, what could I stick in there? And then it occurred to me, oh, I've got some of these page protectors. These are really nice. They were from Staples and they're like a thicker grade quality. The Dollar Tree does have some, but they are a little bit thinner. And I will tell you, I made the mistake of running the die through this with both sheets in there and it did not cut it. So I ended up having to just cut the first one out myself, which it still ended up um, looking fine because I'm going to put this in between those two pieces anyway. So the outer edge of it didn't really matter. But I ran this through and I used a little piece of um, Primapore tape in order to hold it in place. And I just fold it in half both ways so that I can get that little X right in the middle of it just like the original thing. Now I'm, I have this multi matte medium. It's um, a Ranger product or it's multi medium matte. 
um, it dries clear and you can't see it. So if it gets, you know, kind of like on the edge, it won't matter. And I put a really thin layer all the way around my die cut. And then I'm going to add my, I guess acetate would even be okay, but this is just a page protector. And I'm going to add another little thin layer of glue and then put the other piece on top of that. But that liquid glue actually gives you just a little bit of wiggle room on matching those edges up as well. And then I'm gonna put the tissue box on top of it just to kind of hold it flat until it dries. And it doesn't take long. Now this is a piece of PVC pipe with electrical tape holding on one of those really cheap Dollar Tree towels. Now these towels are um, really great and Really, I did this for making cups because I want to be able to hang my cups upside down. And the towel actually fits inside those pencil caddies and holds them steady. And it's, it comes in really um, good in that sense too. But here I decided to use it to hold my jar up so that I can get the bottom and the top edge of the jar painted really well. And this works out good for me. I can even still stick my fingers up in there and pull it out. This is my very favorite chalk paint, Smoked Pearl. It is so pretty. And i am used this on about four of them so far. I haven't finished all of them yet, but I wanted to show you that you definitely could just use chalk paint. You don't have to go out and buy that expensive um, texture paint. But your options are really endless with the chalk paint. You know, you can use so many different colors and they come in all kinds of different colors. You can get them, like I say, anywhere. All the craft store has them. Um, all the Walmarts um, carry that Waverly brand that I've been in. And I, I love them and they go a long way, even if you just buy the little small one for the $1.46. So I speed this process up a little bit as I paint this and it, go ahead if you like videos like this go ahead and give me a thumbs up leave me a comment um, and if you haven't already click that subscribe button that'll let you know each and every time I upload one of these um, fun DIYs and I love sharing this stuff with you guys and seeing what everybody else comes up with too now here's the lids. Um, of course, we're just going to use the rim. And this is Oil Rubbed Bronze by Rust-Oleum. Um, it's a metallic paint and primer, and it is so pretty. And to me, it looks rustic. Like, totally looks like it fits the bill. And you could also still use, like, the black chalk paint as well, or, you know, any color chalk paint, of course, for the lid. But I like the, the different color in it because I want to see the difference in it. But I spray paint these and it was so pretty outside this day. It's like 80 degrees here in Virginia. Now this jute cord I got at Walmart for $1.97. It's a huge thing of natural jute. It's like a half pound of, of cord and it's really a better deal than what the Dollar Tree has. But if you have one or the other in your area, you can definitely, you know, get it at the Dollar Tree as well. And I did a row, the first row I did all hot glue, and after that I would run it around, I'd say at least half the jar, and then maybe put a little dot, and then run it around the other half of the jar, and, and do it again. And then I also decided at the end that um, I had too much of a gap between the that top lip and the jar so I'll go back and I even add more jute to the top of that as well and I just kind of work it in there but I really love how these turned out um, I only show the video for two of them I'm feverishly working on a bunch more um, I'm doing these as teacher appreciation gifts of course I think I've already said that but the thing um, with these is that I wanted to do the video and so I went ahead and made two of them up. 
Um, I usually like to do things where I make all the same thing at the same time. So all the lids, you know, I would have done those all at the same time and all the little inserts, I would have done those at the same time, but I only did two and that was really hard for me because I love to, um, I guess I like to think I'm in a assembly line here. So I do put a little rim hot glue to hold this in and I know um, that's probably my best bet because it's not permanent. I mean it is if you want it to be but if it rips or something or I need to replace it one day then I can easily pull that back out and even pull out off that old hot glue. And so I take apart that container and you may even want to take a few of those tissues out like a good stack. Um, you know, a fourth of that stack out because they're kind of tight in there. And then pull the tissue up through the top. And I tried to wiggle it slow because I didn't want to mess it up. But I put a cute little um, jute bow that I made. I just wrapped a couple strands around in a circle. And then I've got one of those burlap flowers on there. And I think that just really adds to it and makes it cute. And even without the wording, people are going to look and know that this is a tissue holder. But I decide to add Bless You on there. And I use this magic cover. Um, it's clear, transparent, um, kind of like um, drawer covers. And you can buy this at Walmart or the Dollar Tree even has some as well. And it's fairly inexpensive. I mean, usually transfer tape in like the Cricut or the Silhouette brand is pretty expensive. So this is definitely um, a good option. Sometimes with the, the Cricut or the Silhouette brand, you can use it more than once. Um, I can usually use it three or four times before it kind of seems like it loses its good sticky. But this, I can only use once. But I lay it over and I'm going to take a popsicle stick and smooth it down and try to, you know, impress it into the transfer tape. And then before it's all said and done, I'll pull that off there and I decide that I don't want my blush shoe to be offset like that, that I want it stacked. And so I cut it in half and then I'm going to add that to the jar as well. I wish I would have even thought to do it before I even peeled it off of there, but if you notice that your words um, aren't sticking, then you can just lay it back down, you know, go over it with the popsicle stick. And the same goes for when you put it on the jar. Just barely pull back that transfer tape and notice, you know, if, you're, if your word's sticking. I've messed a few things up by not doing that in the past when I first started, you know, transferring stuff over. These were so much fun. Um, I can't wait to make a whole lot more of them. Like I say, um, visit my Facebook page, Crafting It Up in Creations, and I'll have pictures of more of these within the next few days of ones that I'm that I finished. Mostly just to give you an idea of just different things you could do with them. Um, I never can leave stuff alone. I'll walk back and think, oh, I could add this or I could add that. But I wanted to go ahead and get the video out. And I was really super excited about coming up with the idea for the, the lids. That was my aha moment of using page protectors in hopes that they'll be more durable and last a little longer. So, and like I say, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you make one of your own and want to post it to my Facebook page, that would be great. My Facebook page is Crafting It Up in Creations. And I hope to have many more pictures of different ones that I've made in hopes that I inspire you to craft it up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the bell next to it, it'll notify you every time I upload a video. Um, I'm definitely a mom first, um, and I have a full-time job, so they take priority over, um, YouTube fun, but I love doing this. I love sharing ideas. I love getting on here and getting ideas from other people. So I hope you all take care. Hope you enjoyed this craft, 
and I hope you have uh, time out of your day to craft it up as well. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.